on the world level. May have the pro wrestler coming in <laughs> from Clark's <laughs> no. The Rastafarian ninja, as we saw. <laughs> but this one, as you can hear by this crowd, the excitement in the air, the passion and emotion in the air. This has been a long time coming. The whole place is on its feet. You know, not only for man's grand entrance, they're still on their feet. A capacity crowd here at the Blaisdell Arena. Every kind of and now, into the ladies intro. and gentlemen, it is now time for your Steinlager World Title match. Are you ready? This bout is in the 185-pound weight category and is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. In the blue corner. title. This is striker versus grappler. This is the yeah, quintessential matchup of two different disciplines. Both fairly well-rounded fighters, but definitely the strength lies for Ruthless in the striking, for Mayhem Miller in his ability to take somebody down and get a submission. Definitely. We'll see if Miller can surprise him early. You know, Don't underestimate Miller's hands as well. He trains with Dan Henderson, who's one of the best 185-pounders in the world. And here we go. Anything can happen. World title fight. 
can Miller close in without getting hit? That might be the question as to what the result of this fight will be. Miller trying to keep Lawler honest with a couple of leg sweeps. Lawler kind of stalking Miller right now. Miller backing into that corner a little bit. Doesn't want to sit too still. Now gets a little artsy. Little Muhammad Ali-ish. Lawler's not a big kicker, which will kind of actually play well into the strategy to keep the fight standing. But then he kick, you kind of give, you leave yourself open to, to a possible takedown. There's a kick by Miller again. Lawler has yet to throw. Miller falls to the ground on his kick attempt. Lawler has yet to throw. Just sizing things up. Lawler does not want to be taken down, says that he probably will be taken down, but he doesn't think that Mayhem can keep him down. Definitely. He's a great wrestler, so even if he goes down, he has a lot of power, a lot of strength. He scrambles well as well. He scrambles very, very well. Lawler yet to throw over a minute into this first round. He's doing a good job at keeping him nice and mobile. Oh, sneaks in a good right hand there. Yeah, Partially blocked me. Mayhem Miller looking like the striker here early on. Always threatening with the takedown. Nice job, I mean, he's making Robbie guess when the takedown's gonna come. But while that time, he's kind of starting to tag him, put Lawler, some damage into him. Lawler looking as if he's waiting just for that one shot almost. Looks like those leg kicks kind of hurt him too. Miller is much stronger than you would probably give him credit for just looking at him. Sneaking in some nice leg kicks, one to the midsection. Miller very spidery himself, an arachnid-like figure with those long legs, long arms. And he looks to be in great shape tonight, too. Definitely, and this is the most patient we've seen Lawler. You know, his fight to Nico, it came out like a ball of fire. Being very, very patient. Lawler has yet to throw a punch in this fight. Almost hitting the halfway point, and we still have not seen a punch out of Lawler. There, Lawler moving that leg out of the way makes you think maybe he was affected by those early kicks. Very cognizant of what Miller's doing downstairs. Miller's actually backing up Lawler, too. Lawler started to stalk him. Miller coming into the midsection knee. Now goes downstairs, inner thigh area of Robbie Lawler. You gotta remember too, Lawler's been knocked out by a, a so-called grappler before and Nick Diaz in the UFC. That's right. Everybody thought that Lawler's gonna walk right through him. Next thing you know, Lawler ends up on the mat. So he definitely knows that he can get knocked out. Jason Miller knows that Robbie Lawler can get, up and get knocked out as well. well. A few moments ago, we saw Miller actually mouth the words to Lawler, fight, let's fight. Lawler has yet to throw a punch. Under two minutes remaining in the first round. Maybe Miller's um, best strategy or attribute is the ability to get into fighters' heads and usually hold oh, nice right hand. Right hand from Miller. And another body shot with the leg kick. It's to get in people's head and kind of mess around with their emotions, get them to rush, make some mistakes. This was one of those fights that coming in, unlike most other fights, seemed to have the most uncertainty as to what would or could happen. You see those leg kicks aren't take effect when you get hit and the fighter starts turning his knee in. That's when the leg kicks, you can tell that it's starting to take his damage. Oh, nice big right shot. kick to the midsection of Robbie Lawler, courtesy Mayhem Miller. Well, there's no doubt that Miller's been the aggressor here in this first round. He's a great, he's had a great what? training camp with Dan Henderson, of course. He's one of the instructors at the Legends Gym, Bass Routine. Oh, Frank big right hand from Miller and a first counter from Lawler. Under a minute to go here in round one. Lawler has now thrown one punch officially here in this fight. As long as man can keep on moving, it's hard to get a moving target. And Mayhem hasn't made any attempt to take Robbie down just yet. He's been okay with leaning in with that reach advantage. He's kind of setting the stage here. At the middle of the ring they are. You can hear that one snap off of the body of Lawler. See a little grimace there from Lawler as well. And now some moans and groans, a few scattered boos here. Oh. Commenting on the effort of Robbie Lawler. He's only thrown one punch in this round. Ten seconds to go. And there's another inside leg kick from Mayhem Miller. 
Lawler walks back to his corner smiling. But, but what about the inactivity here? What is happening, Mike? I, I don't know. I think the moving target issue, the stick and move, is working to his advantage. Because not only he's sticking moving, he's being very, very damaging as he's sticking moving. Landing great leg kicks. Leg kicks are hard to recover from. And you can see the damage. Every time Lawler keeps on picking up his leg kick, off, you know, picking his leg off of his leg kicks, as well as he's been very, very successful with those midsection kicks. He's landing a few of them. And I don't care how conditioned your stomach is, you keep landing those solid roundhouse kicks to the midsection. That's got to take some steam out of your gas. I mean, steam out of your tank right there. So even if they get into a position, he may not be in the best condition to use his wrestling to stop the takedowns. Let's see if this round two is different from round one. Well, they're closing the gap a little bit more here at the start. Within range, if he wants to throw. Now he leads in with a kick. Almost catches Miller. Miller punches out of it. And then turns his palms upward as if to say, is that all you got? It's about time. And Lawler did lose a Chris Lado using leg kick. That leg kick rocked him back as well. Miller again sweeping in with the right leg. Miller's deceptively strong. Oh, nice. Lawler misses. Miller gets a knee kick in. This is where Miller wants to be right here. In this position right here. Where Robbie down. Robbie had a problem making weight as well. He came in light, but he couldn't cut that few pounds to make it. He came in 191, couldn't cut the pounds. He had to work a little harder than Mayhem. Mayhem came in higher, 197 pounds, and still make the 185 weight class. So you want to see how that will also affect the conditioning of these two fighters. Mayhem is used to doing stuff like that, though Lawler may not be. Definitely. Mayhem goes down to 170. Before he oh, a couple of good elbows from Lawler. And says, bring it. A good oh, nice. straight right from Lawler. Ruthless now starting to get into a groove. Mayhem using the kick to fight him off. Mayhem knows he's got a great chin as well. If he has to, he can take a couple shots. Mayhem leaned in for a second there and then thought the better of it, it looked like. He's got to keep with his strategy. Oh, now Lawler going for a kick to the that. head. Lawler on top of Miller, unleashing some punches. Miller covering up, looking to grab on the ruthless Robbie Lawler. Man, might be playing possum here. Yeah, Lawler oh, might want to be careful, but he's landing a couple of blows. Maybe not. Maybe he's got man hurt. Nice knee to the head by Lawler. Miller in trouble. Lawler on top of him with the side mount. Lawler's doing a good job of keeping that knee up right there, stopping man to, to get that half guard. As long as he's on the side, that's his advantage. Keep Miller's ground game subdued. Yeah, try to keep it as negated as possible, but maybe the silver lining is now this one is on the ground. At least momentarily, but Lawler stands back up. Flies in with the left. Nice ball by Lawler. Good job. He's backing out, not staying too much in the ground. Just staying in long enough to start some damage. And remember, Lawler, although known as a striker, like you said, Mike, was a very strong wrestler. Definitely. Pounding with the right hand. Has Miller in a very dangerous and vulnerable spot. Miller's very, very tricky with his half guard as well. But Robbie's doing a good job keeping that underhook, controlling position, staying in that cross side. As inactive as Robbie Lawler was in round one, this round two has been completely the opposite. Lawler on top and seems to be holding Miller down pretty good. We'll see how much out of that gas tank to see. Maybe Miller's strategy, make him work hard in this round. See if he can empty the gas tank. Because that weight, oh, he has a Medicana, but he got the mount. Now Mayhem spinning over. Good job, Remember, really this is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So the longer it goes, you would think plays to the advantage of Mayhem Miller. Exactly. The guy who looked better at the weigh-in time, but huge knee by Lawler. How much of a punishment can Miller continue to take in this variety? This is the same thing that happened to him against George St. Pierre at 170 pounds. He took a lot of damage. Went the distance, though, but took a lot of damage. And now Lawler in some trouble. Can Miller hang on? No, Lawler slips out of it. Ooh, that was close. Nice job by Lawler. Trying to spin out and corkscrew his, his leg out of that uh, heel hook. A little over a minute remaining here in round two. Miller, Miller again in his guard. Lawler again to his feet, and he crushes down with the right hand. Well, Miller's got the underhook. This is exactly where he wants to be in half guard. To his side. The underhook. Robbie wants to keep that cross face there, control that wrist. Under a minute to go here in round two. Try to stop that arm from coming underneath him. 
Well, Lawler's been pretty impressive on the ground here tonight in this round, too. We've got some blood coming out of the top of the bridge of the nose of uh, Mayhem Miller. That's a nice half guard. Sweet. Let's see if Mayhem can do something with this. Let's it go for a second. Lawler back up to his feet and spins out of it. Now they're both back standing up. And Miller's unleashing some flurry of punches. Robbie looks gassed here. Mayhem looks gassed here as well. Yeah, they both look exhausted. Mayhem's maybe from the punishment he took. Lawler's had to exert a lot of energy trying to keep Mayhem at bay on the ground. Five seconds remaining here in round two. Lawler clutching onto the ropes. Mayhem takes him down, but here comes the horn. And look at Robbie Lawler, slow to get up. But two rounds in, what a fight. Definitely exactly what was advertised, exactly what we expected. You know, Lawler trying to finally put it in second gear. The capacity crowd here at the Blaisdell eating it up. This was towards the end of that second round. There's that leg attack attempt. He tried to use it to turn into a sweep. Robbie did a good job. Instead of going, staying there, he kind of corkscrew himself out. He went down. Miller comes up and starts banging him using that opportunity. Nothing really landing, though. Robbie did a good job of keeping defense. And yet, right after that sequence, Robbie looked very tired. So you don't know if maybe that last knee to the abdomen may have caught his wind a little bit. Exactly. Robbie, you see Robbie right there landing some good shots. Miller says, bring it on. We saw a much more aggressive Robbie Lawler in that round too, but how much does he have Can left in the tank? That is the question. Exactly. As Miller is a guy who's already proven that he can go the distance. We'll see. Five rounds is a long, long fight, and this is a minute. A huge two rounds. And very, very taxing two rounds for both fighters. Good fight so far. Here's round three, a little trash talking between these two. Miller comes in with a kick and then a punch. Another kick. A haymaker right from Mayhem Miller. Robbie Lawler now on the receiving end of some for punishment Kimura. in round three. Robbie's going for Kimura to try to defend that single leg. Oh, nice. He gets him down. Mayhem on top. Lawler Robbie. with that foot on the ropes. And this is where Mayhem can do so much in the way of damage. He has so many weapons when he has that top position. The disadvantage here is um, Militich, Pat Militich, the head of head trainer for Robbie Lawler is not here because he's training for a fight for Henzo Gracie in IFL. And right now, Miller is exactly where he wants to be on top, passing the guard. Now he's going to punish Robbie. Right there here. you see, we talked about him being a spider. The way he's able to come at you with different angles via the knee, via the arms in this position, amazing. He, he's got great control too. Oh, he lands in the mall position. And this is trouble. This spells trouble for Robbie Lawler. Miller has some free hands. Under four minutes, still a long, long time. An eternity left here in round three. And Miller letting loose. Robbie Lawler covering up. Yeah, good job of defending. If you watch, a lot of those hits are not landing. Miller trying to set up an arm bar. He's going the wrong way though, toward, the, toward the ropes. He's going to have a hard time finishing it as he sits back. The full mount from the contender on the champion. Oh, Referee Yuji Shimada is going to bring them back to the middle. And this is going to be the biggest detriment to Robbie Lawler right here because Miller is such a good back hunter. What he does, he pounds you. You turn your back to escape the punches from the mouth, get your back and finish you from the back almost every single time. And that may have been Lawler's best defense was being close to the ropes there. And Miller immediately starts throwing that right forearm. Shimada comes oh. in and says, no, you can't do that. What happened there, Mike? I don't know. I thought everything was, everything was legal, except I guess the elbows through the head. Robbie probably should have took some time for those illegal techniques. He said it's okay. That might be his downfall. No time to recover. Mayhem Miller smelling the title right here. Here it comes. Giving his back. Mayhem's going to try for a head and arm choke. Robbie gets out. But Robbie Lawler does not look like he can put up a good defense here in this position. There's the head and arm choke. Gonna sneak his hand around, jump off, and lay it to the side. He's got it in. And he holds it. Has to squeeze. And he finishes it. There's the tap. There's the tap. Miller is the champ.
the state of things in Icon MMA. Jason Mayhem Miller! The state of things in Icon MMA, complete and utter mayhem. <laughs> Great, great strategy by Mayhem. Executed perfectly. Look for his opportunity and finish. The contender has become the champion. And the Mayhem monkeys are going the crazy here at the Blazedown. Jason Mayhem Miller! Official time, 2 minutes and 50 seconds in the third round. You see an emotional <laughs> Mayhem. Fries right on Q2. Yeah. <laughs> with, with Mayhem, you never know if it's really genuine yeah, or not. I'm not sure. But you know what? Because now he's smiling. But you know what? Ladies he and gentlemen, how about a big has the right to do whatever he wants to now. He's wearing the Robbie Lawler. Come on over here, Robbie. Back and forth the entire time. First round. Too patient, or was that part of your plan? Round number one. Uh, I didn't really have a plan. I just came out here to fight, and uh, I thought maybe I could get him tired, and it didn't work. Second round. Dominating round, perhaps a 10 8 round. Landed some great pride style kicks, landed some big shots. Did you think you might have a shot at finishing him in round two? Doesn't matter, it wasn't good enough. And in the third round, referee warned Jason for throwing illegal elbows. Did those affect you at all? No. It felt like his punches, so I'm not making any excuses. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, former Icon champion, Ruthless Robbie Lawler.